Hi, it's Karen. And Tim. Coming to you live on another Thursday afternoon. We're going to see if this works. We have a new lighting system we're testing out. Uh, we're testing out some other tech things, as I know we've been having some we're, issues. We'll see if we get this to work. Tech is our middle name. Yeah. So. Thank you for bearing with us on this whole journey. We have lots to talk about today and lots to share. Good, it's working. But first, we got mail. We get to start with that. Okay, we are not. You you are so <laughs> in the center of the universe. Okay, you, you, you think I'm going to share and he's going to slide me off the piano bench? But I've got stacks of things to share here. We got mail. Yes, we have mail. And okay, you, you want to take did, care of the mail here? Did we have time? It's not organized Did at all. we have time to organize this? <laughs> no. And you know, they're all opened and Tim's peeked at all of them, but I haven't, so. <laughs> yeah, that's how this goes. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if this works. Okay, I'm gonna start one. Oh, this is to us together from Cindy Jolson. Oh, and there went my, my pile. I slid too far off the bench. You know, okay, from Cindy Jolson. Oh, how cute is, okay, I love, look at this little tree in the ornament. How fun is that? And this is a great fun fold. We did a bunch of one of you and I thought, that is so cool. That is great. So the part of the reason we got, we got lights for several reasons. So we'll just see how it works today. <laughs> But partly, you know, we just work out of our living room, and so we got lights that actually attach to the desk. We've had these great big um, umbrella lights, so we're just trying to kind of um, condense our space a little bit. So, so we'll see. And then, uh, <laughs> but that's a great card. Love it. Okay. Next. Oh, it's a slim line. Karen and Tim. Oh, is this cute? Look at this. I have to figure out the name first. I've got... Uh, Melissa Marler, yeah, she's um, in my group. Is that adorable with the gnomes? Now, when we did on Monday night, I showed favorite cards out of the catalog, and I didn't, I didn't have a set with the gnomes. How cute is that? That is, just love it. And they're home, and look how she's done the little path. Looks like the middle is... Like Thanks, you guys that share. That is wonderful. I have some fun things to share today, so I'm excited about today. And what? Oh, I got it. I got it. Yep, you got it. Stephanie Briggs from Florida. Oh, and a lovely note that we'll put in this. This is the kind of card when the paper does the work. And isn't it just gorgeous? We have the embossed. This is that autumn paper, which will be ending a week this or month. Day. We could have opened this because it was Thanksgiving, but yeah. we didn't do it. But this isn't even necessarily Thanksgiving. It's thinking what of is? you with a grateful heart. Oh, really? Sure if you read, it's a year-round message, but we'll take Thanksgiving <laughs> cards all I, year. <laughs> I hear and, Thanksgiving. And I love how she did the little decoration on the inside. Oh, I love that you guys are commenting on the cards and commenting to each other. I said that is just so fun. It's just such a community. And we have a gift from Patricia Settle from Indiana. Ooh. This, oh, is this cool? Oh, look at this. <laughs> gnomes again oh we're on a gnome theme is that ever cute i love it and reindeer we did reindeer oh that is just wonderful i think this is a gift for you tim i think it is because so i'm not my gonna give it it's his kitchen i'm not gonna get much use out of it but i'm gonna enjoy looking at it when i walk through yes. that is lovely it oh is. thank you and she sent a card or and well how cute oh well, look know, at the cute gnome tag thing? yes it says a little hook that you can hang it on a on a dress or a Oh, yeah. Then we drawer. can really display it. Drawer and look handle. at with the gnome theme, carrying it out. How cute is this? We've got a little gnome with the punches. Do you see the tree punch? Look at these fun punches. Adorable tag. And this is a really cute idea for a calendar. Look at this. It's on a, like a chipboard, and then you can just pull these off and change. How fun is that? So you have each of the months, and you just squeeze it. That's, I have never seen a calendar done that way. I'm going to talk about a different calendar later, but I thought, I love that. So see, this goes into my collection of ideas. I keep a box of just ideas when I get things that will be just great sometime for a class. But what a fun idea to have just this universal thing and switch that up. Oh, great gift idea. Thank you, Patricia. That is wonderful. 
Karen Baldwin. This is to me, so I get to. So this is okay. Iowa. Oh, and I gorgeous. I gorgeous. <laughs> I gorgeous. Celebrate sunflowers has got to be just one of the top three sets in the catalog for sure. It isn't that gorgeous. La mm -hmm. love how she's got the little black leaf and then oh she's I just love the coloring. If the card could speak, it would say, I gorgeous. <laughs> that's right, that's right. And a nice note that I'll read later. How fun is that? So that is just very, very precious. Precious. Diane Cariotas from Illinois. Uh, someone that we met that we used to, that we used to are used to seeing every year when we meet at a party that we haven't done. This is the second year in a row now that we have that, been able to is that do by that. By Esther's? Yeah, by Esther's. We were on our way to that? Chicago to do her party. Yes. When COVID hit. That's right. We That's turned right. around and went back. And it in. sure doesn't look like we'll fit one in this January either. Um, we'd be going through, but I don't think we're going to be able to see our grandkids. So we travel. So it's kind of like, oh, it is that gorgeous. Look at this, a gatefold card. Oh, is that beautiful? And a gatefold just means when it folds in the middle like that. And look at that pretty, this is that poinsettia specialty paper. It's fluffy. And you know, all these papers are ending this month. This is gorgeous. And the wreaths, and I just love that color, the blue and white for Christmas. Beautiful. Beautiful card. Can you move that tape dispenser? Oh, out of the it's way? ruining the look. It's, it is. It okay. is. We have such a good look. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now, should I, if I move all this other stuff, uh, you'll hear them all fall. Yeah. <laughs> it's no, what we're working on today. So. <laughs> you know, we crafters never have enough space. It just kind of fits with this too. Jenna Frederick from Idaho, another member well, of my team. Say something about this. Mm -hmm. She she pasted that on. Yeah. So yes, that, isn't that a fun envelope trick to yeah, decorate it? It's a trick. Beautiful, another autumn greeting. Oh, how fun! And another Thanks. gorgeous autumn set. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's got like it looks like shimmer. It could be either Wink of Stella or the shimmer paint right on there. But how pretty is that? Look at that. It just shines. Love it. And she is Janet is a. A member of my team that also does signing with her mm -hmm. videos, which is really awesome. And the think about that. The bottom of the yes, the, note. the decorated inside. Diane Anderson from Wisconsin. And he said, "I found out we've been corresponding, and I said we drive right by where you live. So when we come through, we're gonna have to meet when the weather's nicer, and we can meet outside at a Starbucks. We'll need to meet. Uh, and a letter for later. Love settling and reading letters." Ooh, this looks like a, this looks like a fun pull. But I, yeah, I have a hard time hoping. <laughs> oh, well, this is the kind I'm supposed to give to Tim. I'm sorry, I did. Could you have figured this out, Tim? Do you, I, I do think, you think you have it now? I think I could. What, what do I do with it? Let's see here. That is stunning. I love that. So, you know, when this sits, it's just going to look so pretty because this holds it up. And do you see how it folds flat to mail? I love how she's got this lighthouse. It's a, like an embossed thing. So it's not colored in. It's just, a, but it's not a great look. So wonderful card. I love it. I love the accent there with the twine. We got the, the ropes running here. Isn't that cool? You got your knots there. And the same knot. And what a great masculine looking card too. I mean, that's just a great idea. I always point that out because everyone says, I just need ideas for masculine cards. Oh, here you have it. No, I thought that is, that's beautiful, Diane. Yes. Thank you for sharing. Cindy Cunningham from California. I am going to really miss this paper. Look how pretty this is. We, we see the, the solid with the swirly thing. And then we've got two of the papers. And look, it is a, card where you swipe open. Isn't that pretty? And then you've got your words down here. So another fun fold card, a flat card. I was trying to think of what we call them. I, I call them a flat card. I don't know if they have official names, but it's not fun. And then you put the happy Thanksgiving. So when you look at cards, it's always fun to think of what you own and you know really notice the designs because it's just so fun. I think that's just really a pretty design and to put whatever there. So that's wonderful. Love it. It is. I'm trying to think Love of the name. Love these autumn cards. Because it's not a Z fold because it's it's just like a, a V fold. 
It, yeah, there's, no, there's not really, there's not a Z in it. It doesn't go as no. a Z. So it's more, I call it a flap card because this is like a flap. Oh, flap. I think it's What did you think flat. I said? A flat I said, card. I said most of our cards You wanted are flat. A, a fancier name than flat. Oh, okay. flap. <laughs> I got it. This too you can mail because it's flat. With a P. No, but, but a flap because it's like a, yes, like a flap. Okay? Okay. Karen grew I thought he wasn't happy with my choice of a name. You know, he wanted to improve on it. So. <laughs> Karen grew up in the 20s when they had flappers. Yes. You know? Yes. <laughs> no, but I, I kind of like that style of Aloha. Um, but someone just commented, they love the leaves done this way. You know, because usually when I've done flap cards, I will do a, like a circle or, you know, a shape. You know, you know how you just kind of think about that. And so it's just really fun when you substitute something else. So that's really awesome. I agree. Using Ooh. the leaves there. <laughs> In your pee because you still sounded like the same class. <laughs> Luba Bollocks and I, Luba, I got Luba first from New York. Another person on my team, and I thought, I, you know, I love this wreath die. Now, the wreath die is actually from the main catalog, so it's still around, and I just love how people use it for. Christmas, summer, you know, it's all seasons. And I just love how she's got the little leaves put in here. Isn't that pretty? And then she's got the little leaves across the bottom. So instead of words, because I often, if I do a card like this, and my object is up here, then I put words down there. And I thought, what a fun, interesting way of having something that relates. And yet, so it's kind of like the wreath going across. Love it. She's got a little turkey down there. <sighs> love it. Another, these are just so fun cards. Karen, if you're trying to reach me, let's talk this afternoon, okay? Uh, okay, Pat Nagy from St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, who remembers this stamp set? Another blast from the past, which are always just fun. And another gate, gatefold, but notice how it's kind of also a flat card. I mean, it kind of... Um, what kind of card? Well, it could be a flat card. I'm just trying to see if it connects in there. But do you see how, how it meets in the middle? But she has an interesting shape on hers which is really interesting, that goes with mm -hmm. this. So she's kind of carrying the, the shape through, which is really mm -hmm. cool. And you see how she's taking the white pen and just gone around and done all these fun little accents? That's a very cool idea. On there too. Yeah, all around, kind of just all carried out. And I just, yeah, you know, it's the little details are just kind of fun to notice. And she's got a turkey on the inside. But when I do a flap card I usually just have meat in the middle and I just so I just it was just fun to notice that and how it just goes so when it's open see it kind of just goes with that yes and the cute turkey die, so finishing die touch die or fussy cut I would guess fussy cut but could be either well do it wouldn't matter because I know well, then well, it wouldn't be eh, you never know <laughs> no, but how fun to see a blast with that yeah you're right <laughs> okay you're just trying to trick me I am you just, you know, you can get your two cents in without having to trick me. You can just okay. say something. I'll, I'll just be quiet and let you speak. Maybe oh, I nice. talk too much. Okay. okay. Tim, be nice. <laughs> Teresa Courtney from Iowa. Oh, and a fun thank you card. Look at the fun Rick Rack. Oh, all of you that are old work with, oh, all the, all the sewers, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I don't even know. Um, I used Rick Rack a lot back when I used to sew. And I'm sure you still get it. I don't know, but it feels like a blast from the past for me because I don't sew anymore. But I think that's really fun. Think of all the odds and ends from any of your hobbies. I mean, just be incorporated into your cards. That's just really fun. I love I that. I think the last time I heard the word <laughs> Rick Rack is when my sister Mary Burks was talking about it when 1965, I think. <laughs> Oh, Sue is packing for a move, so she can't stamp anything. She's having withdrawals. Oh, we feel for you, Sue. But I hope wherever you're moving, you're going to have a nice stamp area. <laughs> and that'll probably, you know, I think it's more important to get that settled and situated than um, the kitchen. Just just telling you, you know, you, you can order out. <laughs> yes, but you got to have that Blue thing on the bottom. Push the... Blue thing on the bottom. There you go. I, and, I'm just scrolling, so so we're all good. <laughs> so anyway, yes, Shar sure from Iowa. Someone else in the group. Oh, I just love seeing all these things. Look at this gorgeous card. Oh, and oh, and the inside. And notice how she stamped the inside, where you don't notice it when it's closed. And you're gonna you'll do your words right down here too, or you'll just do an insert. Actually, but that is really you can do lovely. Words like this and like this. 
something like this. Tim, you would do that. I and would. that would be awesome. I would. Yeah, no, I would. That, that would be a really, really fun idea, wouldn't it? I would. I, I love that. And I love these papers. So that's such a rich looking card. And I love how she's got the ornament hanging on the side. Gorgeous card. Oh, this is so fun. And from Gowan, Michigan, the Natty Towers, but I have not sure who that is, so I have to look for a name. So let's look for this. Good luck at opening that one. Okay, Tim, this one's for you. No, I can't. I tried. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. The... No. Oh, this is a puzzler. Um, don't they, on Thanksgiving, isn't there someone that does oh, like a turkey okay. puzzle? Untie that. Untie it. Oh, you untie it. Oh. Okay, and then open it up. Okay, so I'll put it up. You can't figure it out, but you can well, give no, me you no. can give me directions. I figured directions. it out. No, okay. I figured yeah. it out, but I didn't want to even try. You'd rather just because I couldn't me. retie it as pretty as. Oh, it. how fun! Look at it. It's a tied flat card. Right how here. cool! <laughs> <laughs> and it was a puzzler to us. I think that is so fun. Okay, this is when you send a card, you know, and you want someone to really enjoy it and spend time figuring out how to open it. That's part of the deal. That's awesome. Look at this. How cool is that? And I like how she put a note on the inside here. I mean, so really you have lots of space if you need plenty of space to write your notes. That is awesome. And how fun. Two different takes on the same kind of style and how you can make anything be your own. <laughs> that is awesome. Very cool. Very, very fun. But we need to know more than the Natty Towers. Sherry Tower. Oh, I, I like her. Uh, I think I was the Natty Towers. That makes sense because that's her last name. I love it. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Natty could be short for like Natalie. And Deb Arblaster from Ohio. Ooh, another stunning card. I love, look at these leaves. And look at the accent here. These are just so pretty. And this is the, um, this looks like uh, that ceiling. The tin tiles, you know, the old fashioned tin tiles from a ceiling. I love this embossing folder. I think that's really fun how she's done that. She's got the metallic that goes with this ribbon right over the leaves. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. And I just love, oh, and look what she did on the inside. She just put a little tag and put that in there too. Uh, that is a great idea. And you know, a card like this is very universal. I mean, you could do a spring theme too, but you know, it doesn't need to be Thanksgiving by any means. It's just, you know, all of these things are just great, great cards for birthdays or anything. That's gorgeous. And yeah. one last one. No, but mm -hmm. is that straw? Is that in the kit? <laughs> no, no, is no it, is people it? add things. No, oh, we, okay. we don't sell straw. Tim was all excited. Because I um, love straw. You know, and there's this new stamp set that Tim's going to do something with really soon that has cows in it. It's got hay, hay stack. So now Tim is going to want me to figure out mm -hmm. how to get him, mm -hmm. how to, how to um, get some hay or something to make it real. Because, you see, I think he's thinking he could get it from the catalog. You know, you can get a lot of things, but not that, so... Uh, I might is, have to send him out searching for the that. last name is Tower, so Natty <laughs> yeah. must be her first name. Yeah. <laughs> or is that a... Natty is... No. Her first name is Sherry Towers. That's why I was wondering. But yeah, but it could be Natalie. It could be. Okay, but no, it's it not. It could be. Okay. It could be Natalie. Okay. okay. I like... This. Okay, okay so can I tell you a straw story? <laughs> okay. No, yeah. seriously. Yeah. I'm going to tell straws. When I was a kid, we had a bale hay. Alfalfa in a hay bale is really heavy. The best thing in the world were straw bales that came from oats because they were so light. You could, you could just throw them all over the place and it was... So amazing. that's the kind of card you want to make, straw uh, bales. Yes. Nancy Monkholm from here. Let's see if I, oh, what another... Oh, look at this gorgeous Thanksgiving slimline card. This is really lovely. She's got a stamp background and we've got the, the wheelbarrow and the flowers. That's beautiful. I love it. Oh, what fun cards. This is really awesome. Has anyone started calling this the legal size envelope card? Mm, only no. you, Tim, and I don't think it'll catch on. Rebecca says today's cards make her feel inadequate as a stamper. Oh, I'm sure you're an amazing event. All cards are wonderful, so we love cards, and we love it when you guys send cards, so that is awesome. So I have a couple of things to talk about first. Well, we have a new host code finally. It was a day late on that. but So we are looking for storylines to go with this, of course. But it's H-E-4-T-F. RP2, and you can always find this. I try to link them um, with all the videos, but you can also always go to karentitis.com and you'll see it right there on the side. Host code for this month. Um, so we'll work on that. And we have yeah. the next class, you know, the All Good Cards Club. 
you know, one of the things I love best about it is just how well we get to know each other. It's just really fun to be meeting with the same people each month, making some really fun things, and we just learn a lot from each other. December is going to be December 11th and 12th, and you know, if you can't attend live, it doesn't matter. You can always go back, watch the replays, the lives. You can still keep posting your works. We're going to do four small gifts. These are the kind of gifts like you just might want to have that are just thoughtful to have to hand out. So this is one that I just love. So this is my version of a calendar and I've done it other years, but look at how we have three months at a time and then you open it, you flip it. So it is all in one piece, but it just sits so beautifully. So you get the PDFs, you get everything you need to print out and make it. And then what's fun is you don't need to decorate yours like mine. Everyone decorates with what they have and then they'll post pictures. So you get tons of ideas. So I think that is really fun. But, and this one, you don't even need to special order calendars. It's just a printout. But the theme is winter. Uh-huh. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. Yes. So see, Some, they're just themed. And then I just think it's fun to see what other people come up with for their themes. And it's so easy to mail. And it hardly costs anything. It's a perfect little thing. And then we're doing, I, I do need to announce, Tim is going to be part of this class for the first time ever. He never gets involved in my, the Good Cards Club. He figures that's, you know, his time off. But... He looked at this next, next project and said, Karen, I have an idea for that. So he's going to do his idea. But this next one, we're going to do these because a lot of you have asked, how do you do these uh, these holders where you keep this upside down? Now, this is a perfect gift for a crafter, but if you don't have this, and I lost my little, my little thing of lotion in these colors. So anything like that, it's just a gift idea. So anything that's going to fit in there, it doesn't need to be that. That's two of the four. That's enough. That's the first announcement. The next announcement, oh, and the All Good Cards, it's only $15 to take the class, you guys. I just think that is just a bargain. When you set up to do it monthly, you can do one month and quit, so it really doesn't matter. Otherwise, it's $25 to pay for class, but we just encourage people. It's much easier on our end if you just set up, and if you take one class and you don't want to do another, you just um, send a note in, you're off the list, no big deal. You can rejoin later. Uh, so I think it's great uh, to say it's like the cost of a pizza and you get a fun weekend and all these PDFs, things you get to keep forever. Uh, you can always go back to it. So that is one thing. The next thing I'm going to share is uh, I'm going to show you what I'm doing for gift cards this year. And why would you want to buy a gift card from me? I have a couple of reasons. You could buy one for yourself, you know, because when you redeem any gift cards from me, you get free shipping. Whoa. So you could put it towards an order and celebration in January. Also, if you have a friend, even um, maybe it's a grandchild that you get together and craft with. I'm happy to send them the catalog. You know, we send them this. They can pick out their favorite stamp set, you know, or you're giving a gift, you know, kind of whatever. So that's why you'd buy them from me. Uh, also, just anyone you know love to craft. What a great, a great thing. And I always like to make it gifty enough. So you can order one from me that I would send to you and you can give that person. Or I will send it to that person from you. If that makes sense, you can do whatever. So we're using a mix of papers from this. But here's what's cool and here's where the gift card is. And then, of course, they have a gift that they can re-gift because they can put another gift card in. So the other thing, I am going to show how to make this today. Um, with another one, because I want to just show you that. But I just wanted to talk about why getting a gift card for me is a good idea. So, and it also, if you don't know, you know, tell your family if there are people, if you do do gifts, you, know, you could suggest someone, give them my name and say, this would be a fun thing to do. So we're gonna make another one to show you how easy it is. And then this is my other announcement. If you haven't joined the back porch stampers, or oh, you wanna be over there, this is just my, it's an open group, you request to join, but you're, you, you'll automatically be in. We do a weekly challenge and then we draw a name for anyone who enters it. And I've decided to kind of switch that up because one of the things I have loved about the group is I share something on a Thursday and the whole next week people take that idea and they're doing things with it and putting it on and I thought, let's make that even more official. So this is the, the design that, you know, for this next week, until next Wednesday, so we're changing it up, and then we draw a winner. But, because what I love about it is if I show this today, you're going to see 20 or more ideas more done this very same way. And I think there is just such a richness in seeing other ideas. Ideas beget ideas. <laughs> I know that, you know, and it just kind of um, 
You know, my other thing that I always say is we're more creative together than separately. So I love to share an idea and see what you do. So I will do a post on there tomorrow and I will show this again. And uh, if you don't want to make it a gift card holder, just don't do the slot. You can still just close it up and then it's a regular card. This would also be a great thing you could add um, uh, little photos in here or a special note. And what I was thinking right now because of COVID, it would be fun to put a note and just say, Meeting for coffee at Starbucks or, you know, whatever your local shop is, is on me in May when we can be outdoors again. But, you know, that's like setting a time that we're going to do something and have, having something to look forward to. And this is such an easy layout. So, and of course, on my blog, you will find all of these different, um, th the patterns for all of these. So, to make this... We have a piece of four and a quarter by 11 sheet of cardstock, which just means we're cutting our full sheet down the long way. <laughs> Janice says that she took this idea from me last year. All of our gift cards were, were in one. Yes, so she made one for everyone. Postman, um, mailman, everyone. And I think, you know, and even if you're giving cash, you could slip cash in. But I think it's just kind of fun to have. This is kind of my go-to thing whenever I need a quick gift card and you can make them all different so you could make a really cute one you just change up your paper and your words uh, oh by the way I also do these for birthdays so if you have someone in mind that you want to give a birthday card to also keep that in mind so you can see this is almost like a z fold except we want this part shorter so the card slips in so we are going to Typically on a Z fold card, we would go to two and three quarters. We're gonna to go just to two and a half. And then we're gonna score in half, which would be five and a half. And this will all be on my blog, so if you don't catch it right now, don't worry about it. And then, do you see how this would be a Z fold? We're gonna tuck this one in. So it's just a fold up card like that. How easy is that? And then we're just gonna take a punch and your punch could be any size. Let's see, I have a that an one and three quarters here. Inverted Z fold. May well, it's just really not a Z. Tim's really, really trying to find a Z out of here, but I just don't really see a Z. <laughs> we'll have to work on our basic letters. <laughs> but how cool is this? And then this is closed up. And you have room. So this is your card. Now on this one, on the ones I'm sending out, I am actually framing them. So I'm cutting one piece a little smaller. On this one, just do it really quickly. Just gonna show, this is just the easiest way. We're gonna do a single layer. So this was, this is four and a quarter. So this is gonna be four inches. This we cut at two and a half. So this is two and a quarter. You see, we're just going down a quarter inch. It's just the easiest way to ever remember anything. Put that on, and then our other little strip, again, will be four inches. And I'm thinking this is one and a quarter, but you look at this and realize it wouldn't matter if you have scraps. This could be three quarters of an inch, one inch, one and a half. You know, it, it, uh, it really doesn't matter. So whatever you have is totally handy. And then again, I'm not even layering this on anything because we're just going for the quick to just show that you know, you do them really quickly and they still look really lovely. And then I'm gonna put my little cutout here. And I think, what a pretty card. And then this one I added ribbon, you can do that, not do it. You know, it's all up to you to kind of finish it. But that is such an easy, basic layout. Do you have a Starbucks card slide in there to show? Not handy, but I can put one in the picture. But so I wanted to point this out as we're talking about gift cards. This is a great idea for you to use to send out gift cards and just know what you're going to get if you order one from me. It'll come packaged like that. And you feel more like you're giving a gift if you give a gift card, if it's packaged nicely. It's, it's all about the packaging. Here's my next thing. Back from... Oh yeah, you need that poinsettia paper if you don't have it. Yeah, that is just such gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And you know, we're going to miss all those. This is back again. I have probably been doing these for 20 years. I honestly don't know how long. I have 
a few videos. I've just been doing these forever. This has always been and still is my customer appreciation gift for the month of December. So instead of doing a card kit, I think these are so fun. Someone was just asking me again today, what do you do with all the cards you get? Because I get all these beautiful cards. And I said, just watch. I do all these kinds of things. I send them out to customers. I send them out to downline. I make these gifts. I think these are just fun. And I love to pick some of the very, very favorite or maybe the fancier ones, kind of whatever, to put on the cover. And then when you open them, there's a set of four cards with envelopes. Now, when you give this to somebody, they could just keep and admire forever. They could use the cards, put their own cards in, go ahead and gift it to someone else. But anyway, I just, um, Rebecca said she loves this and she loves getting these from me. So some of you have gotten a few of these from me. And I was thinking, you know, should I change up what I'm doing? But part of what I love about December is just appreciating the year, kind of looking back over the year. And this is something I can enjoy. I always have lots of beautiful cards and I love just thinking about my customers. This is just something I just do on my own. It's just fun to put together and December's more of a relaxing month, so it's kind of fun. So I will make one of these to show how quick and easy it is. Actually. If you've never done this before or if you need a reminder. Neither one of those remind me of 2020. They're too pretty. That's true. They are too pretty. I am using pretty ones. This, this is a... But, you know, and just think about it. These are the kind of gifts. You could have four or five of these in your closet just ready. They're, they're a great host gift. Needing some, and they're perfect for anyone. So we need... Oh, Luba made lots of these last Christmas and donated them to assisted living residents. Ooh. Oh, that is so fun. You know, gifts like this are just kind of fun to just have to look at. So this is for all your newbies or a reminder for all of you other. And, you know, gift giving doesn't get easier than this. So I'm going to take my eight and a half by 11 card stock. I am going to score it at five and a half. Fold it just to show that. Going to turn it this way and score it at two. Today's kind of a goodies but oldies class because nothing I'm sharing is new, but they're all such great ideas she for meant the holidays. Oldies but goodies, not goodies but oldies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That'll be the new word. <laughs> She's going to try to... Renee make... says she has one of these and loves it. And for a gift for someone else, it is perfect. Oh, I love hearing from how many of you have done this. And what a gift to brighten someone's day. And it takes really no, hardly any time. And if you are a card maker and have extra cards, again, it's the packaging. Explain what you're doing. Okay, I just cut off the two ends so that when I fold it up, it gives me this. Otherwise, I'd fold it up and it would be straight on this and it would get bunchy when you fold it, you know, because you'd have too many layers sitting there in the corner. So this just gives me that extra ease right there. And then, hmm, oh, I seem to have missed it, so I'm just going to do this. I have just a scrap of cardstock. I'll just pretend this is it. And I just eyeballed it, so this is my pattern. Because, you know, again, this is something, it, it's not a big deal. What's under there? Right it's not this. No, okay. I, I know what it is, and I know where it is, but... I won't send him to try to find it. But to get them a little bit comparable, do you see I just made my thing and I'll flip it over and I'll do it over here. And you know, good enough is good enough. Okay, and then we'll do that one. Then I'm going to pick my ribbon. For this one, I am going to use... It's good to be reminded. Rebecca says all these are good. How oh, good so she loves my these days. And you know, I think it's fun to be reminded of things. And um, I just, you know, this, this is this is my go-to gift idea. I will just. So you're threading it from just one say, end to the other. So yeah. So I'm just taking any ribbon here, and I am going through, and I'm just going to kind of eyeball it to see. For the purposes here, I'm making sure I have plenty of ribbon. Usually, I actually, okay, I'm, I'm just going to cut it off just to make it easier. So now, if you notice, the purpose of these ribbons are to hold the cards in. Because if I just had it totally open, these would fall out. But you see how that just holds it in? So that's really, and then I have 
some cards here. So let's see. In this group, I'm going. So these are. Look at these fun assorted cards. <laughs> Uh, and so I just group because I have a ton of cards. So I just group them so there aren't like more than two. Two might be flowery, one might be a kid. I just kind of, you just kind of want a little bit of variety. It doesn't matter. So on each side, I'm going to slip in. I'm going to slip in the envelopes. And then I will slip in two cards. Envelopes again. And. I'll put this one on top just because it looks so pretty with the with the colors. Okay, and I'll just draw this. I think showing one is enough. I um I tell you on Monday night, you know when I do cards. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do next Monday night, because I do this once a year too. I'm gonna share about 30 or 40 of these that I've made, just the covers, and it's kind of a trip down memory lane, because again, we'll talk about the cards, but now the cards are put on the front of these packets. So it's just the same as the other. So here is the front of my card. This was made by Megan Hurst. Most of them I won't know, because by this time I cut off the front. And sometimes now I, I could leave it just this way, or sometimes I like to add one more layer. And so a base card is five and a half by four and a quarter. And so I'm gonna go, a quarter inch bigger. So this is going to be five and three quarters by four and a half. And it's kind of like that little added, that little added piece on there. So now I'll put that on. And I actually sit and assemble it all these while we have the TV on. So I use a lot of glue dots. Um, that's what I'm putting on. So, so I'm gonna finish that. But how gorgeous is that? I think that is just such a fun idea. This is another one, but I don't need to make a second one now. But this one, now this one, you know, the cards could be left open in the front. This is a card from Deb Witt, who is also in my downline. And I love how it opens like this. So this is going to be the next one I was going to work on. And I thought I was just going to close this up. But I could also just leave it like this. So either way, and then you can put a message in there. So hopefully that is a really fun idea. I'm gonna pass these to Tim to clear the table. And then, yeah, great stocking stuffers for adult kids, you're right. Um, and, and sometimes I think the value too of a small gift, let's say you are giving a gift card or you give money or do whatever for, for your kids, but you could also tuck that in here or it could just be part of laying on the gift, whatever. But you kind of like a token gift to wrap up, you know, so it's just kind of part of the presentation. Do you have more? Are you doing more? Or are we... No, you can move that off. And now we're going to do, this is what you'll be copying with. And then the last thing we're going to do, the last thing. Oh, a set of Valentine note cards would be really cute to put in that. You're right. And you could probably even put in more. Okay, here's, here's another blast from the past. Okay, who remembers this paper? Does this go back two years? Look at this. I needed the ribbon. I took this ribbon out because I... I'd run out of my spool and I need a little ribbon for another card. So you're not supposed to see that side. <laughs> uh, let's see. I have one more of these. Right there. Uh, oh, right here. <laughs> okay. Now, you know what's awesome? These can even be stored inside each other until we need them. This itself could be a gift. Just fun package for somebody else to have. But I thought, this is such a fun way to make bags. And you can make all these bags and have them sitting around the tree and right now when we aren't going out and stuff so much and it matters just to be home but fun displays I always think of or if you're doing a whole family of gifts so this is what we're going to do okay you guys are inspired to make the other okay that is fabulous oh I I'm going to do one tomorrow I'm going to come out at one and I'm going to just do one thing and I put out, so this is just really fun. I'm gonna do something with one of these three new stamp sets, all based on popular voting. So if you wanna put your vote in, we're doing hot dog, the seashells, or hydrangea. But that aside, and we will make bags. So this is the paper I'm going to use, and look at all these sizes. And here are all the measurements. Now, now, again, this just, will be on my blog, or you could screenshot this right now. When you, and when you make this, make sure that you have little holes. Yeah, little holes. It's the finishing question. touch. <laughs> so, this is the largest size. We're using this paper, but before I go further, let me show you some little tiny ones. 
So we won't make every size today. We'd be here all day. But you're getting the measurements for all the sizes. But I just wanted to show you. So I'm going to take this off. We're so organized, you know. Um, look at the poinsettia paper. So this is a six by six, five inch squares, four inch squares, three inch squares, and two inch squares. How cute are those? And these I put little holes in, tied ribbon. For little tiny ones, they're just connected with a glue dot if you want the ribbon, but you don't even need the ribbon. But I think, how fun is this? And I can just stack them. So if you're giving like little tiny things at the table, or if you're giving someone a little teeny gift, wouldn't that be cute to just put them? It's like a little tiny shopping bag. So these are all these measurements. And it's a great way to, to use your pretty paper. If you are someone who has a bunch of pretty paper and you want to use some up to make room for more. Can, I, can you give me the little one again? I'll give you all of them. No, just give me the little one. Oh, the tiny one? Mm-hmm. In three and a half years, three and a half years, Karen and I will have been married 50 years. Mm -hmm. Whoa. I know. And I I'm going to call for a ring. I don't even know if I'm a going ring to, yes, no, I'm going to give her a, 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 new, a ring. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm sure. And I'll put Look, it in there. How yeah. fun. Oh, cute. Okay. No, I'll have to do it because I set it on. So I want to know where he's going to go find one of those machines where you play to get to get to the yeah, ring. Right. <laughs> That's what I visualize when I think of him getting a ring. Do you know, I have a ring here. It's actually from, it's not this one, I guess not, uh, I, guess, I guess it's this one. <laughs> that actually a friend gave to me because she found it in a parking lot. It was in this busy parking lot and took it in and there was no place to leave it. <laughs> and she didn't need a ring, so I just pretend that's my... And you have a stamp and up ring. ring. And I have a stamp and up ring. And I have my mother's mother's ring. Or is it a grandmother's? It's my mother's ring. And I so I think that's really fun. When she moved into the nursing home, she didn't want to, you know, have her rings and anymore. So that's very fun to have. Guess whose wedding ring I'm wearing? I don't know. My father's. Oh, you're wearing your dad's, okay. So so yeah. well, we we love yeah. <laughs> traditional things and kind of all of that. Okay, Partly so... Partly because our wedding rings, we were both a little... We had skinnier fingers when we got married. <laughs> I know. And they don't fit anymore. <laughs> That's for sure. Is that a nice way of saying that? Yes. Okay, now we're going to start with... Since, you know, I'll, I'll make some other sizes. This one I use two full sheets of 12 by 12. So, and that I love those teeny tiny bags. They, and they'd be so fun if you had even just a little chocolate or something. You just put on people's plates and a thing. Okay, here are the dimensions. You can do a screenshot. But you know what? As soon as I'm over, I will put this in the, the notes that you can read by it. So don't even worry about this. And they'll also be on my blog. But I will put that up. 